All right. So this is my file that I suggest people have some version of because this is where I keep my fake data. When I want to play with something uh, with a new feature in Excel or I'm working on a project and somebody has sent me a file that's got nine sheets in it mm -hmm. and it's got 5,000 rows each. Sometimes I want to make a small model of fake data so that I can get the concepts down. And that means, OK, I'm going to need a bunch of fake names. So you see here I've got 5,778 first and last names. And then this middle initial column is randomized, right? Mm -hmm. So now I got Margot Pena if I need a fake name. I got all, and then sometimes I can grab just a bunch of random first names. And these are dynamic. So if I hit F9, see, it all changes. Ah, that's cool. Yep. So um, I want to show somebody about making pivot tables. Okay. And I want these names. Okay. Copy. Paste, paste his values. All right, get ready, you know, making that fake data for the uh, pivot table tutorial. Uh, over here, I found that I needed a whole bunch of currencies. Uh, and I, I wanted, because if I use RAND array to just make a bunch of data, it's going to give me integers, it's going to give me long decimal places. It's unwieldy. So I figured, okay, if I need 35 dollar amounts then there they are and i want them to be between say 500 and uh 2500 dollars so okay those are the values that i'm going to use in my fake data if i need some birthdays or start dates so a start date so the start date of uh say 10 october 19 uh, going back to, say, uh, 1 January uh, 2009, okay, and then I need 40, all right? So there's a bunch of fake start dates that I have available to me. Uh, cities and ages I can grab, foods, you know, there's some honey and monkfish and stuff, random objects. So these are really helpful to have if I need addresses. You know, these are all fake addresses. So don't go looking for these people at these addresses, <laughs> y'all. Right. Yeah. So, cool. yeah. So I don't have to, if I want to show uh, here, how do I unshare? Okay. Uh, there's so, yeah, I got it. So if I want to show, say, five folders worth of stuff uh, that I'm on an import in Power Query, I can quickly make that fake data. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, not, not have to start from scratch. That is cool. I like, I hate making fake data, like for like examples and things like that. I think that that would be really cool to have. Is that something um, you could share with us and we could give to our readers or is that something we can have them just go to your site if you'd like? But if not, that's fine. Yeah, they, they can build that. They, they, can, build I, that. they can build Fair that. enough, fair enough. I think I think everyone should try to go and build that because it's very basic formulas, right? It's uh, yeah. ran between um, things like that. 